Shah Abu Salama is is here. Uh, we had a connection issue, uh, but she's arrived. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. I'm trying to enter the new year with um, positive spirit and happy new year to all of you. Thank you, uh, and uh, uh, and um, thank you so much for for pursuing the the getting on here because I know it was difficult for you. Um, now you, I I see that you've uh, we spoke a year ago, roughly, uh, and you had uh, been suspended from Sheffield Hallam University um, as a lecturer uh, on the back of smears that were made against you, um, anti-Semitism smears that were made against you. Uh, a big campaign online um, turned it around that the, so the university reinstated you. And we, the last time we spoke or you were on this show, you were in a good mood because you'd just been reinstated. Um, now, it's been a while, but can you update us on, on what's happened since then? Sure. So first, uh, thank you to everyone here that has been part of this overturning of the repressive suspicion, uh, suspension of my teaching um, early January. And it was thanks to you that I returned to teaching. I completed my course. I had great time reconnecting with my students and delivering post-colonial media culture. Well, just before I finished my last teaching um, on the 15th of May, I received a letter from the university informing me of yet fresh complaints against me. And I just didn't understand then how many times do I have to be investigated and reinvestigated and re-exonerated for uh, to be allowed to, to just uh, lead my life and, and, and just move on. But uh, despite being previously uh, or, and fighting so hard with all of you before uh, to uh, clear myself of these unfounded accusations of anti-Semitism anti -Semitism that was mounted against a Palestinian, a very convenient, um, political way uh, that the Zionists are uh, deliberately and systematically using to silence Palestinian voices and every voice that speaks out against Israeli injustice um, and, and the systematic domination of the Palestinians. So at that time, I regrouped in May, I regrouped with my UCU uh, union and ELSC, the European uh, Legal Center um, ELSC. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and we thought that it's best for me to, to actually uh, go ahead with this uh, investigation to prove that it has nothing to do with antisemitism. The fact that it was, yet again on, on, similar, on similar issues being investigated for uh, at the heart of it is literally uh, the misrepresentations of our history and our struggle for liberation and also the uh, deliberate conflation between anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism uh, yeah. for protecting Israel. At the heart of these complaints were, were these issues. Uh, and I thought that I, I should go ahead, uh, but the university then um, had to, uh, they, they forced me to go through this investigation under the banner of confidentiality. So I couldn't speak about it, but I still engaged with them with the hope that hopefully something is going to change and I'm going to prove to them that it had nothing to do with antisemitism, but, but I was hounded because I am Palestinian, because uh, I am uh, basically achieving some, some uh, change for my people and making their voice feeling heard after, after long uh, time of us being always misrepresented, underrepresented um, and defamed. And I believe uh, the, the fact that we overturned the, um, 
the uh, previous uh, suspension of my teaching in, in January and February, yeah. uh, that's the reason w that drove um, Zionist forces in the UK uh, mm. angrier against mm. me. And by May, not even three months had passed um, uh, when, the, when the university uh, relaunched yet another investigation. And I didn't speak about it, and I continued engaging with them. Uh, the, the, the investigation was like incredibly uh, racist and, um, and incredibly re-traumatizing to me. But I still engaged, hoping that I, I this would hopefully uh, join the accumulative effort of fighting against the IHRA definition of anti-Semitism. So, and and uh, by by October, it was established that uh, I am clear, exonerated yet again of the malicious accusations of anti-Semitism. And I managed to, uh, with the help of my team, uh, I managed to uh, negotiate a brilliant settlement with the university. So they have, in effect, behind the scenes, they have um, confessed to their wrongdoing. And they were prepared to reimburse me for the harm that they uh, inflicted against me. And then uh, I choose to leave the university because I couldn't keep going in such a life where I'm like literally trying to earn my living, trying to progress with my career. And uh, I'm just hounded by one investigation after the other, more harassment, more, defamation you can you can probably um put put up for our viewers and and audience here uh the 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 uh search of of my name on the jewish chronicle and you can see how they like how i've been harassed and and chased and whether i'm doing something or not doing something i'm just existing and i'm just being tarnished and dragged into their disgusting form of journalism Mm. That could that could hardly be called journalism, and and the university then, despite doing all of this behind the scene, uh, by the eighth of November, when the Jewish Chronicle published uh, another uh, defamatory and anti-Palestinian article against me, uh, literally describing me as a daughter of. Uh, uh, of a terrorist, how dare they? Care they to explain how they terrorized my father at the age of 14 when they uh, imprisoned him first? Do they care to explain the terrorizing of my grandparents out of our villages in 1948 for Israel to exist? Do they care to explain uh, how how they kidnapped my father from our towns, fr from his home in 1972, when he was barely 19 years old with no, nothing, he's done nothing except basically calling for freedom and justice to his, to, to his people. Mm. And, and they, and, and they uh, at, that, at that age, at 19, they um, put him under uh, a horrible, uh, horrible conditions in Israeli jail, sentencing him for seven life sentences. And despite uh, at that time, uh, even Israeli anti-Zionist uh, Israeli uh, lawyer fought hard with him and his comrades in order to free them. Uh, Felicia Langer, you may know her. She's an amazing um, fighter for justice for the Palestinians whom we just sadly um, lost like a few years ago. And, 
anyway, so and 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 the and the lies and the defamation and that article goes on, and my university feeds into these lies and misrepresentations. So in that article, the 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 fact that I have been yet uh, uh, under another a third investigation, this time conducted by Aqua uh, Reindorf who's the uh, new um, Equality and Human Rights Commissioner, uh, was, was never, this was never uh, made public by me. And this was supposed to be confidential. And we had a two-way confidential agreement between me and my university that I hoped would put an end to uh, this harassment and, um, and racism that I've been fighting against since, since last Christmas, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. And they, they reveal this fact. And then when, when the Jewish Chronicle is asking them about the conclusion of this investigation, that's when my university senior officials say, that, oh, this is confidential and we cannot say, we cannot reveal to you the, the uh, conclusion of this investigation. Although the investigation came again on my side and it was established that, that I, am, uh, I have acted within my rights to free speech and everything. Mm. So it's, it's, it's absolutely hurting and, and it feels alienating that no matter what we do, no matter how much we fight, somehow um, we are uh, dismissed and uh, smeared and censored and chased. And that's when I realized that I cannot, I cannot do this confidentiality. And they have preached it first. And I had to correct the record and fight and fight against this um, weaponization of the IHRA definition of the anti-Semitism and this systematic silencing of the, of the Palestinians and pro-Palestine voices, pro-justice voices um, that, that is systematically being silenced. Mm. Uh, so that's why I, I launched uh, the crowdfunding campaign and big part of this crowdfunding campaign is to encourage people to talk about this, to encourage people to uh, discuss and, and, and see, stand witness as uh, to, to the injustices that uh, Palestinians in diaspora are facing under the uh, biases of these governments, of these European governments, whether the UK where I live or uh, Germany, where my brother lives and had been also facing similar issues with um, the legal system there, just for being Palestinian and for calling for our, for our rights. This is unacceptable and this is a threat to everyone. Mm. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that everyone here listens to my call and support me in reaching my justice because this lawsuit is not just for me. I, am, I know that I'm not targeted personally. I'm targeted for the uh, liberation issues, the anti-racist uh, issues that I represent and stand for. And I'm never going to step back from this novel position but we need more people of conscience to join hands with us and help us alleviate our votes and reach our justice. And I appeal to you to uh, basically share my call and my crowdfunding page on GoFundMe. And I hope that I will be the last victim of the IHRA definition, Free Palestine. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. Um... I'm, we're putting the we're put the, the link out on the on the chat here for anyone who wants to to contribute um and you know you, what they've done uh in the past year i mean the, the 
just a, 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 a campaign to undermine you, um, you know, in your job. And, and you know, your, your background, what you described as your background, your father's background and, and your family, it's just unbelievable that, that you can't speak, that you've been censored. Um, that's something um, that really shocks me. Um, and please do, do support Chad. And if I speak, if this is my experience, if I say that I have been, uh, I feel like I've been chased out of, you know, followed by Israeli oppression out of my uh, occupied territories, out of our refugee camps into the West, the West that, that claims to champion uh, freedom and uh, justice and human rights for all. And then Palestinians are being repeatedly excluded from this discourse. Yeah. We are being literally hounded for sharing our experiences, for saying that I'm a survivor from Gaza, for demanding justice, the, the long de denied justice of my father who, who lost a total of 15 years of his life yeah. in Israeli jail. And you, and you remember, you remember uh, Nelson Mandela, some of you have been on the forefront of the fight against uh, apartheid in South Africa. And, and some of you remember that Nelson Mandela has been uh, defamed on uh, front lines and front pages uh, of UK newspapers as yeah. terror. And then he was again reclaimed as a freedom fighter. And I'm a daughter of a freedom fighter, and nobody can change that. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see that you're, you're, um, it is a racist attack on you because what you're, you're defending your background, your history, your family, um, and and they're not allowing you to speak. So what, what else could it be described there other than a racist exactly. uh, attack? And now I just want to, I just want to show uh, people that there is, there is uh, other avenues being pursued. Um, Peter Jones. Um, in in Sheffield uh, of the UCU has uh, put a motion um, through that was passed supporting Shad. Uh, I, are you there, Peter? Yes, I am. Thank you, Crispin. Good Thank to see you, you again. Um, yes, and you. Can you can you tell us what what uh, what this motion was and what else we could do uh, as well as the uh, crowdfunder? Yes, Maybe. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, I'm I'm glad and very proud to say that that our UCU branch at Sheffield Hallam has been standing with Shahad all the way through this uh, nightmarish struggle, uh, which began once she was appointed as associate lecturer at, uh, at Sheffield Hallam. We we she's just been subjected to a, a relentless campaign uh, by. Um, anti-Palestinian racists uh, to, to discredit her, to, to have her sacked, um, uh, and to discredit the, the pro-Palestinian solidarity movement, of course, and, and its activists. Uh, Sheffield Hallam branch of UCU has now passed uh, two motions, including one the week before last in support of Shahad, in support of her crowdfunding uh, campaign, uh, critical of the university's um, decision to uh, take part in this in this latest interview with the Jewish Chronicle where these um, insinuations were made which Shahad has already explained so we're taking that up that that up directly with the university we're calling for the uh, IHRA definition uh, to, to 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 not be applied anymore we're carrying out our own investigation into the use and application of the uh, of the IHRA uh, IHRA definition, as well as the circumstances under, under which it was adopted by the university. And we're also calling on UCU nationally to take action here, to, uh, to be proactive in um, fighting with the membership and uh, ag against the employers generally, but to, but to warn against how this is being used, how the, how the definition is, is being used in UK universities to suppress uh, academic freedom and, and, and freedom of speech. And, and I know that this is a battle that is, is uh, 
uh, dear to the hearts of everyone here uh, from everything that we've gone through. And I, I would therefore urge you to, again, express your support to, su to support the, the UCU, uh, UCU branch at Sheffield Hallam, to do everything you can to support uh, Shahad's crowdfunding appeal. Um, and also let, let's, let's join forces in this, let's network uh, properly in, in this, let's share information, uh, let's, let's, let's be bold in this. Um, if I could just mention quickly another initiative in, in Sheffield, which is the formation of, a, of a, what we're calling the Sheffield Palestine Coalition Against Israeli Apartheid, which is an attempt to bring together all those individuals and groups who are fighting for the Palestinian cause, but under the under a general umbrella, under a united umbrella of, uh, of an anti-apartheid, anti-Israeli apartheid movement, um, which I can very happily give details of if anybody's interested in, in pursuing that with me. But I think this is what we need now. We, we need to take the initiative. Um, we need to be bold in uh, uniting all of those forces um, uh, across the country who are supporting the, 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 the Palestinian cause, because this is such, as we know, this is such an important uh, issue for all of us. It's not just about um, one particular uh, struggle, which is, of course, at the heart of the, uh, of, of the struggle for, for, for justice, but it's, it's, it's an issue that's so central to all our political concerns here, uh, all our political struggles in the UK, including the struggle against the fake Labour Party under under Starmer. So, I'll, I'll, but I'll leave it there, Crispin. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know you'll get. You'll, I know what you'll like when you get onto that one. It, it, it's. Uh, I don't want to upset your heart with me, but um, uh, thank you, Peter, for coming on uh, at short notice. And um, sorry for mispronouncing your name, Shahid. Uh, and no. uh, we'll we'll share the link. Uh, I'll, I'll put it out in an email as well. Uh, where I can see that you've it's gone up to six thousand, but um, it's we're looking for twenty. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep working on that, uh, and hopefully uh, you can um, get justice on this because I think it's uh, calling. If I was in your situation, uh, I wouldn't be as strong as you. And and uh, thank you for coming on. Thank you for hosting me, and thank you everybody who supported me from the beginning and i hope this is a winning cause and it will be with all of your efforts uh joined together thank you